one. Good evening, I'm Nikki, and today I'm bringing a show to you called Meet the Candidates, brought to you by Mr. Paul Herring. Tonight I have the pleasure of interviewing Ms. Jackie Poplar. How are you today, Ms. Jackie? I am doing fantastic. Great, I'm glad you can make it on such short notice. First of all, look at the camera and tell the people a little bit about yourself. <laughs> Okay, I am Councilwoman Jackie Poplar, the Councilwoman for the Second Ward City of Flint. I have been there since 2005. I'm a member of the Mount Calvary Missionary Baptist Church, where my pastor is Dr. Henry L. Fuller. I am also civic information person for Great Lakes District Women's Missionary. I am also a mother of one son, Dakery Poplar, and the grandmother of two, Dequatia Poplar and Desaya Evans. Um, I am a servant of the Lord, and this is how I continue to serve the second ward for the city of Flint. All right. Let us know what makes you think you are qualified to be on the city council. What makes me qualified is Nikki is experience, mm -hmm. dedication, mm -hmm. um, the drive to continue to help the least of these, mm -hmm. and the love of people, and it's in my heart. All right. What do you think is the biggest problem facing Flint? The biggest problem right now, mm -hmm. we're looking at um, crime. I would say we're at number one. That would be the biggest problem, but we've got to figure out how to get rid of this. I look at it as a cancer okay. that's eating our community. And once we get people to step up to the plate to really want to get rid of crime, then we can begin to heal our city. Do you think there should be required trainings for council members? <laughs> we can take a class but I guarantee you 10 to 1, whatever class you take, still won't help you do the job that people think you should be doing. Okay. I'm going to ask a couple of questions that the viewers may be wondering a little bit about. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the Kira Gandhi Water Project? I think we should have had our own pipeline 30-some years ago. I think right now it's 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 coming in um, a little later than it should, so naturally it's costing more money. But we could not be continually held hostage by the city of Detroit. Mm -hmm. We just could not be. We were helping pay Detroit's bills, and you see where they are. They're in bankruptcy. Right. But they were using us to pay their bills. Mm -hmm. Just like I believe, and this is just my opinion, that the city of Flint is using the people to pay their bills. Mm -hmm. And they're doing this naturally through the water rates. Okay. Okay. I, be, I truly believe this. Mm -hmm. I may be wrong. It's my opinion, and I'm entitled to that. But this is what I believe. Okay. But we should have done a pipeline 30, 35 years ago. And I believe it had gotten started. And somewhere along the line, it fell by the wayside. So here we are now, wrestling with, you know, people, do we need it? Do we want it? Mm -hmm. How are we going to pay for it? all of these big questions but um we need our own okay and it should have been there all right um another question for you the county recently considered removing the felony box from their applications do you think this this is something the city of flint should do 
um, the as far as hiring felons? Yes. I think we need a new law. It needs to be changed because good people sometimes do bad things under circumstances that they think are right. And they do it young, when they're young, and once they've matured, they shouldn't have to have, have all of this held against them. Right. So, you know, I'm in favor of doing whatever we can to help my fellow man that has been incarcerated mm -hmm. get a job. My brother is a prison warden and he talks about how some of the young men are dreading to get out because they've set their lives on the right track but they're scared no one's going to give them a second chance exactly. and I do believe in second chances. It's nobody's perfect. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. I hate to jump around to but different okay. questions, but that's there fine. are so many different issues that's out here. Well, that's, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Um, were you in favor? Uh, were you in favor of the street tax? No, I'm not in favor of any new taxes that anybody can dream up right now. Mm -hmm. I'm in favor of sin taxes. That's where your money is. But it seems that. That sin tax has to come from our, or your, or their governor. I don't claim him. It's funny. Right. <laughs> but I'm in favor of sin taxes. Okay. Now, some people may say they're mad if they have to pay more for cigarettes. They have to make, pay more for beer and wine. That's your choice. And it's my choice because I don't. None of that affects me. Right. So they can raise the ceiling on that. But I think your biggest tax taxes, your money to help your cities, would come from your sin taxes. Okay. And I'm in favor of that. Um, property taxes, we need a break. I need a break. My constituents need a break. And there's a whole lot of people need a break on that. Exactly. Uh-huh. So I, I, you know, you could never bring that to me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the short interview. Look at the camera and just let the viewers know why they should vote you vote for you for the November election. Thank you so much, Nikki. I am asking and trusting in my constituents that know me, know what I have done for you. I don't brag because that's just not me. But I want you to continually trust me because I stay for the people. I work very hard for the people and I stand up for the people. And I think the citizens in the second ward know that I live at 3921 Winona and one must know that my opponent by now does not live at 3702 Seneca. And I trust that you will trust me to continue being your leader. And may God bless each and every one of you. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you, Ms. Poplar. You're welcome. And we'll be back.